Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Pizza Fire Van on time delivery guaranteed. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Uh, the turtle van, the party wagon, whatever you want to call it, has always been one of my favorite toys from every single Ninja Turtles line that's come out. I'm actually excited to compare this to all the others that came before it. I love collecting the vans. This one looks like a lot of fun, so we're gonna open it up and see if it is. But let's go ahead and start with the packaging here, which has some really awesome artwork on there. And I love it because it's like artwork of the toys. I think that is so cool. You can see it includes pizza launching action. Of course, pizza launching is a classic action feature of the Ninja Turtles brand, which is really cool stuff. Uh, rotating in the box around, you mostly just have the same image on all sides of the box until we get to the back where we do have a cross sell. It's important to note that this cross sell differentiates from the actual figure card backs because that cross sell has images from the movie, whereas this cross sell actually shows you photos of the toys. Uh, also, it lets you know that it includes one van. <laughs> so there's not more than one van in here, but it also comes with eight pizza discs. Really exciting stuff. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of assembly uh, uh, required. Uh, so let's get to work on that. So this is what it all looks like right out of the box. So we got the giant pizza, we got the pizza discs. Uh, we got the uh, luggage rack for the top of the van. You can see we got some stuff kind of plastic wrapped in there. The tires are in there. We'll have to put the tires on. And uh, a dreaded sheet of stickers. Oh my gosh, it looks like there's quite a few of these. So uh, let's get to work. All the tires appear to be the same, so that's good. I don't have to worry about putting these in the right spots, I don't think. Boom. Blam. Kapow. Bossa Nova. All right, luggage rack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good grief, look at all these parts. Uh, kids, get your parents to assemble this. Fellow 30 and 40 year olds, just go ahead and call your parents and have them assemble this and get them real confused. <laughs> oh, this takes batteries. I didn't even realize that. Good to know. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so many stickers. I guess I should probably put some of these on before I finish assembling this. I bet that'll be easier. Like with this pizza that's got to go up on top. Let's do the stickers first. All right, stickers on. <laughs> I guess that's the button that triggers that. There we go. <laughs> and while this is out here... Why did they put this sticker on for me, but they made me put this sticker on? Oh, jeez. I gotta do stickers on this whole thing right here. Sometimes when I open these things up, I'm like, yeah, stickers. All the best toys when I was a kid had stickers like this. And then when I have to put all these stickers on, I'm like, man, to heck with stickers. <laughs> I could do without them. These bigger stickers like this are always the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> get them straight make sure there's no bubbles don't want them overlapping i did all right on that fyi don't shoot pizzas at people or dogs i think that's what that means i gotta be bummed I, <clears throat> I gotta be honest i'm a little bummed that all of these pizza stickers have the exact same toppings i you know the vintage one always had like a bunch of different ones and there was always crazy things like ice cream scoops and stuff I feel like they could have given us a little bit more variety here. All right, here's another one I gotta get really straight. Yeah, there we go. But once again, I have to ask, why did they make me put this sticker on when they already had this sticker on here? It's like a cruel joke, Playmates. <laughs> one thing you guys need to be careful of when you're assembling these things, the plastic is a bit pliable. And when you're pushing these ones in that have these small pegs, you don't want to snap this. Like I've got some stress marks on here from just pressing it in place. I don't know if you can see that. Just be careful when you're pushing those in socket. And here it is, the Pizza Fire Van, fully assembled, all the stickers in place. 
Let's check this thing out. Let's start with the measurements here. If I bring in the tape measure, you can see it's about at, oh gosh, it's probably closer to 14 inches, a little over 13 inches if we're counting like the tire in the front up here, maybe even the little uh, foot stands on the back. And height wise, we're looking at under nine inches tall. So it's about what you would expect for a turtle van toy uh, in this particular scale. It actually measures up pretty closely with the previous iterations, which we will see a little later on in the video. Now I will say, I really like the design of this. Uh, it's kind of got that classic VW look to it, uh, which also the original turtle van sort of has this shape. It reminds me of the party wagon that we got in the 2012 series a little bit, uh, but you can see obviously with some differences like the stickers here, I assume that this is their way to be a little undercover is to make it look like a pizza delivery van. I do kind of love that this large pizza banner on the side totally looks hand-drawn. I assume that it is. That's kind of hilarious. I mentioned this while we were looking at the stickers, but it is a bit weird when you see the sticker with Michelangelo in the window if you're also going to have your action figure with it, but it is cool to see some actual artwork of the character from the movie in the window holding the pizza there. Pretty cool stuff. Um, obviously, there's no windows, like no plastic for the windows. It's just all open so you can reach inside. We got turtle power on the front there. Uh, very cool stuff. L uh, sticker on the other side. Look at all the pizza boxes stacked up in there. I think that's great. They look like a real photo of pizza boxes. I don't know if that's true, but that's kind of fun if it is. This is classic. I love it. Like the graffiti that says turtle power, pizza rules. I mean, that's really fun. And then look at that extra cheese. That's our license plate on this one. And then, of course, on the top, we've got this large slice of pizza, uh, which, again, kind of gives credence to this being like a pizza delivery van. Now, this actually has a purpose for the action feature, uh, which is pretty awesome, and we will show you that in just a bit. I do want to bring the turtles in here just so you can see how the van scales with the figures there. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks great with our turtles and our van. I guess we should also talk about like the quality of this thing. It does have plastic wheels. You can see it actually says turtle power on the wheels, uh, but they're plastic wheels. They roll very nicely. So look at that. Awesome for kids that are actually wanting to roll this around the living room, play with it. I think that's going to be really awesome. The plastic quality on here is pretty good. It feels sturdy for the most part. I will say it is a lighter plastic. And again, if you picked up any of the previous turtle vans it's very similar to that um for example if you have the versions of the turtle van that came out for the recent films the live action like bay movies the plastic feels a lot like that where it does have a bit of a pliability to it there it's lightweight the wheels do add some heft to it so it's not like very super lightweight but it's lighter than say the actual vintage turtle van which is definitely made of a harder a uh, different type of plastic or different feeling plastic. Um, but it's not to say that this feels like it's going to fall apart or anything like that. But where you are going to find some instances of that plastic feeling a little on the flimsy side is where the doors open up. So like right here on the front. Um, this is obviously going to be sort of like the uh, the the loosest part of the plastic or the, the kind of thinnest feeling plastic. So you can see it's a bit flexible and pliable. And that's so it can clip in place when you close it, but it seems to pop open a bit easy sometimes when you're just kind of rolling it around because you can see how this van kind of flexes outwards there just by applying pressure to it. So if kids are like driving this around or bashing it around, you might have instances where the door is going to pop open like that. So opening up the front of the van, you can see it just reveals two seats right here in the front. Let's put a couple of our turtles up here uh, in the front seats. And I'm very curious specifically about Leo and Donnie because they've got their weapons on their backs. I want to put Donnie over here in the driver's seat. We got bendable knees, so that's pretty great. Oh, that bow is going to get in the way just a bit. It's actually bumping on the tire piece down here. I wonder if we can still close this up, if that'll look okay. It does look like he's sitting a little too close to the front there. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I got to take the bow staff out. There, he's sitting a little bit better now. He's also, he's also very short. I guess they are teenagers, like young teenagers driving here. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. This was difficult <laughs> trying to get him like seated and holding the steering wheel. Uh, I would do what I'm doing right now, like attach his hands to the steering wheel 
and then close them in there. It actually seems to make them sit a little bit better. But do you see what I'm talking about? How it's like, look at this. It's not like, it's not staying shut very good. It's like popping out. And part of that now is that we've got the turtle sitting up here. And it's just like, I don't know. It's not clipping into place as good as I would like it to. All right, it's closed up. But look at this. Do you see this? That's, that's a bit of a bummer. I don't like that. All right, so Donnie and Leo are up front. They're driving the van. We can also open up the back hatch back here. I kind of showed you that a little bit ago. It just folds down. Again, it's the same pretty pliable plastic in the back. You're gonna have times where it kind of pops open pretty easy there, I think. Uh, it's also kind of cool. We got these little foot pegs on the back here and handles. So, you know, if you want to have your turtles like hanging on to the back of the van, I think that's a really nice touch. I like that quite a bit. So that is pretty cool as well. And then we come to the real fun part of this, the action feature. And for that, we're gonna press down on this pizza on the top. Boom, check it out. So this is great because this is sort of homaging two vintage Ninja Turtles vehicles in one. Uh, for instance, it is homaging the original party wagon because it also had a feature where the door would swing open uh, and there was a seat for a turtle sitting on it on the door to like knock over bad guys. But also, We've got a pizza thrower here, just like the vintage pizza thrower vehicle. And just like that, we've got those discs that you saw me assemble the stickers on of slices of pizza. This is pretty fun. Now this is battery operated. So you are gonna need some AA batteries which plug into the bottom here. There's a screwdriver cover. And then you have an on off switch here. Um, so let's go ahead and just get Mikey situated up here in the seat. All right, Mikey's in the seat. I want to do this first. Let's put it all in here with Michelangelo in there. Look, that makes sense. Now Mikey's sitting right here in the window. Uh, so, you know, push open the, the van door there with the pizza slice. It folds out with Mikey on there. We'll flip this to the on position. Now it's worth noting, it doesn't make any noises or anything when you turn it on because the motor only runs when you actually press the button, which is this red button right here. Boom! Look how good that works. Ah, it works just like the vintage pizza thrower. It shoots these discs out at a really good speed. Look at that, they go flying out of there. Gosh, that is so freaking cool. All right, all right, let's get some bad guys in here. Let's get some bad guys. Bring in the pizza van. I feel like it's gonna shoot right over his head. Hold on. It shot, <laughs> it shot right over his head. It's too tall. <laughs> How are we supposed to, we're gonna have to pick the figures up. Oh, I hope I don't jump up at the same, oh, pizza in my face. <laughs> that's, okay, I gotta admit, that's a little ridiculous because the figures are too short for, I mean like, it, I love it. I love that it works so well. I love that it shoots pizzas, but it's sitting way too high to actually hit any of the villain's figures. <laughs> Will it hit Rocksteady? Nope. How about Leatherhead? Nah, still right over Leatherhead's uh, leather head. Superfly, maybe? Nah, nah, pizza just flies right over all the bad guys' heads. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay, look, despite the fact that this is way too tall for the scale of all the villains, uh, it is fun. I still think, obviously, kids are gonna have a lot of fun blasting pizzas out of this. I do like how the door flies open and it comes flying out of the side of the van. I mean, that is pretty cool. It's just so funny that it doesn't actually hit any of the bad guys. All right, so there's our van. It's a pretty sweet van. I like it. Let's go ahead and do comparison time. I want to stay in this alongside several other versions of the turtle van from over the years, including the original party wagon, which we all know and love. We've got the 2003 era battle shell. We've got the Cowabunga Carl van from the 2007 TMNT movie. We've got the Shell Razor from the 2012 series. And also we've got the Party Wagon from that same 2012 series. And hey, why not the version from Rise of the TMNT as well? There have been other vans. I actually do have the vans from those previous Bay movies as well, but I couldn't find them to dig out for this. I still think this is a pretty good assortment of turtle vans. So you can see what these all look like standing side by side. 
And there you go, my friends. There is the brand new Pizza Fire Van from the new Mutant Mayhem toy line by Playmates Toys. Uh, all in all, I do like this quite a bit. I love seeing the legacy continue of the Turtle Van. And while I do have some minor gripes about it that I went over in this video, I do think this is still a good looking van. I think it's a fun toy that kids are gonna really enjoy. Uh, and if you wanna complete your look with your four turtles, you gotta get them a party wagon, I suppose, right? So, pretty cool stuff. I would definitely think it's worth checking out if you are a TMNT fan and collector. So these are hitting store shelves right now at places like Target and Walmart. Happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.